Welcome back to the Tastefully Vicky Kitchen. And this week I'm showing you how to make a homemade tomato ketchup, which is so much better than Heinz, trust me. And it would make a fabulous gift to someone in the Christmas hamper. Don't forget, you don't need to write anything down because I'll leave the printable version of this recipe in the link below. And it's perfect just to dip in chips. But I'm so sorry this is not a sin-free recipe, but I'm sure you could work out the sins in the ingredients below. So this is how you make it. You need 1.7 kilograms of ripe cherry tomatoes, and I also used some that were ready from my garden. And then you need to chop the lot, don't even worry about the skins because we're going to sieve it later. I must admit this is not the cheapest recipe and it's cheaper to go out and buy Heinz ketchup, but whenever I see reduced tomatoes I just buy them and chuck them in a large pan and I'm using my jam pan as usual. And excuse my horrible kitchen, we are planning a new kitchen as we speak and I can't wait. Then you'll need one small green chilli and I picked this out of my greenhouse and de-seed that and finally chop it. Then you'll need to trim two bunches of spring onions and finely chop them. And annoyingly, I can't find my onion goggles right now. My eyes! Then roughly chop up three celery sticks. And crush three fat cloves of garlic. And you need to chuck all of that in your pan as well. And then to add to the vegetables you need two teaspoons of ground ginger and a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of fine sea salt and a generous amount of freshly ground black pepper. Then pop it on your hob and bring it to a boil. Then pop a lid on and then lower it to a gentle simmer for 30 minutes until everything softened. And that is what it should look like, very juicy. Now transfer it all to a blender and blend until it's as smooth as possible. And then grab a large bowl and place a sieve on top. And we're going to sieve all of the tomato sauce because we don't want any seeds or skinny bits. It will take a while, just be patient and just gently press down. And start discarding the pulp. And keep repeating until you've sieved it all. And that's what I got out of it. I think it was about 1200 mils. Now give your pan a clean because we're gonna reuse that again and we don't want anything to burn. and then pour in your tomato sauce and then add 200 mils of red wine vinegar and 150 grams of granulated sugar and then gently heat the sauce until all the sugar is dissolved you'll know because there won't be any gritty sugar at the bottom and once it's melted gradually bring it to a boil and constantly stir and while we're waiting this is the key moment to sterilize any jars so you can bottle them without them spoiling click on the bottles now to learn how to sterilize jars now once you've got the tomato sauce consistency you want, you'll need to pour in the tomato sauce into the bottles using a funnel. And then screw the lids on nice and tight and leave to cool. It should last up to six months and you can leave it in a cool dark place, but once you've opened it, pop it straight in the fridge. And I've just got my neatest handwriting and decorated some East of India luggage labels. I found the prettiest fabric off cuts to cover the tops. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.